All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, I just picked up some new wheels for the 335. Well, not new, pre-owned, but they're new to me. Um, anyways, you get the point. Okay, but before we show you the wheels, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more stuff on the 335. So we ended up picking up the wheels in San Jose. It was like an hour and a half drive. So it was really well worth the drive, to be honest, because it was a, a set of five wheels. I guess you can go show them now. Uh, it's an Apex EC7s, um, size 18 by 10s. Um, they look really clean. It's honestly a killer deal because, like I said, it's a set of five. So I had that one spare. I was looking online. It's like thirteen hundred dollars at the least, and that's just for four of them. And these are in pretty good condition. I ended up going to go buy some tires this morning because uh, they had to pre-order them from their warehouse. So I just got the call. We're going right now. Um, show them the receipt. Southwest Tire Shop here in Sacramento. I mean, I went to two different places, but this one had like the best price. In my, in my opinion, it's pretty good for five. The 335 is at home. Um, I brought the wheels in the Honda because that's what we took to drive to San Jose. Just because it was uh, better on gas and there's a bunch of room back there. My brother is coming, as you guys can see. If you recognize the 328 from the channel from like previous videos, he's coming with me so we can fit more, uh, two more wheels in there. Because once these have tires on them, I'm not even able to put them back in the car. Okay, we're almost there and I'm so excited to see how they look when, uh, with the fresh of the tires on. All right guys, so it's a different day. We ended up putting the wheels in the truck just so we can easily transport them. And we're at the other house. We brought the 335. Um, we got the jack ready. And let's go ahead and put these things on before it gets dark. So we're gonna start by loosening this side right here um, before we jack it up. And then we'll do the rear. And then we'll move on to the other side. Yeah, these are dumb Okay, so all of them are off, but for some reason, this thing always gets seized on there. So, trying to take it off, it sucks. Ah, guess I'll kick it. Mm -hmm. but how do I kick it without kicking the fender? It's so close. Okay. There we go. Oh my. So these are 225s. I don't know why they're so thin, but we ended up going with 235s. I might switch it to 255s just because it looks a little stressed and I don't like how it looks stressed, but we'll yeah. see how it looks for now. I was gonna get dirty, man. Huh? These are 275s, so the ones we're gonna install are 265. A little, a little bit, a little bit smaller. And these are gonna be for sale, so if you're local, hit them up. <laughs> so, how much did you want for these? I don't know, like five, seven, eight, nine hundred. <laughs> I don't know. 500. First yeah. one to come. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> They're two piece forged wheels. Yeah, alright. 700. First one to come. <laughs> There's the other one right here. Looks really nice. It's just, it doesn't really go with the car that well.
Hey guys, so we did not end up finishing up the video yesterday. Um, once you put all the wheels on, the car got stuck. Like I would literally just put the e-brake down and it wasn't rolling down. Um, so the ones in the front are just too tight. I mean, it's rubbing against the suspension. So we had to go get some spacers from O'Reilly's like super late last night. So we're just doing it again today. Um, we threw two in the front. That's where, that's where it needed it the most, to be honest. And now the, re the rear, it's not rubbing at all, but it just looks funny because the front wheel sticks out and this one does not stick out. So we're just gonna throw one on each side just to like make it a little bit more even and hopefully that fixes the issue. And this time we brought the drill, that way we're not doing it by hand. It's still by hand, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> this does not fit in there, man. Hold on. Bro, my pudding game is weak. I'm gonna do the other ones. I think this is everything. And these are, uh, what is it? 516? Yeah, 516 of a inch. Uh, dormant. There you go. Now I'm gonna put the wheel back on and hopefully it's a little bit more symmetrical because it did look a little funny. No, all I did was kick on the tire shine. Mm -hmm. Just thinking I was, I was done. And I'm grabbing these, it's tough because it's all slimy now. I'm gonna sit down. All right, so we put it down. This is how it's gonna look. It looks a lot better. Obviously it's not sticking out, but from the rear, it looks uh, symmetrical with that one up there. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and just finish tightening this side and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, time to put it back in. Oh, <laughs> freaking sick to be honest i love them uh i honestly until i got these i didn't know how ugly those other wheels were um but yeah it's gonna wrap up this video we're gonna go ahead and get a good cinematic so we're gonna go somewhere nicer and uh, we'll see you guys then yeah.